Another funny happening is this chicken festival that brings in 15,000 people. We're a town of only about 5,000, so there is a great tourism event. And like I said earlier, we have people from Arkansas, New Hampshire, all over the United States coming, so it puts Wayne, Nebraska on the map. The Wayne Chicken Show started 18 years ago. They chose chickens because almost everyone in this area has some knowledge of chickens, and they can also be considered humorous. The parade is made up of all different entries, from local businesses to politicians to convertibles, antique cars, kids. No parade would be complete without the Chickendales. The Chickendales have started performing around 12 years ago. A few of us brave souls came out and decided that this would be what would represent Wayne. This year's chicken show theme was chickens under construction because of the construction in town. We have various events each year. One of our most famous events is the chicken flying meet. We have tall mailboxes that require a ladder to get up to them. They place the chicken inside of it and they shove them out through the rear end with a large plunger. Whoever's chicken flies the farthest wins. It's chicken cooking time! Let's roll! I took second place in the most beautiful beak contest. I've taken flack for my long beak for many years, so this has been a long time coming. Oh yeah, I've trained for years for this. It was one of the most stressful things I have ever done in my entire life. It was uh, tough. It was bloodthirsty. I'm, I'm fortunate I've escaped with my life. The hard-boiled egg eating contest. I entered in the hard-boiled egg eating contest. There's no buckets in front of you, so be careful. You were supposed to eat as many eggs as you can within a two-minute span. The audience really gets into the contest. You always hear a lot of jokes like, oh, wouldn't a chicken dinner sound great to wash down those eggs? Um, but the audience really gets into it. Don't talk with your mouth full. My training was that I ate a very large meal last night to expand my stomach. For the mass volume egg eaters, what I would do is uh, not have lunch like I did. I think I would have been able to eat a little bit more eggs. Our most famous events is the National Cluck Off. I'm an eight-time winner of it. I don't really have to train. I grew up on a farm, uh, raised with brown animals, chickens and cows and all that. And, and as a little boy, I used to crow at the chickens. And, and that's, I'm a natural. They say people have an ear for music. I've got an ear for making animal sounds. I think it's fantastic. First time I've ever been here, and I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Tesh, the egg eating champion here at the Wayne Chicken Show, and you are watching Over the Edge. Hi, I'm Joel Vauver, the national cluck off champion, and you are watching Over the Edge. <laughs> We're the Chicken Nails! Here we are!